Happy Slugger is the fastest snail in the world. I think it's time to let him in on the secret. May I offer a humble what? word of advice, Sir Sean? Yes. About what? Mm. Etiquette and protocol at the palace? Actually, no. Oh, it's boy. about your mount, Sluggard. Sluggard? Well, if you can get him to slow down. You should dismount and let Sluggard go free, just for an hour or so. I can't present myself to Lord Chaka and Prince Rackle without my trusty steed. That would be dishonorable. <laughs> <laughs> You clawed just an hour. I'll come back when you get to the palace. It's for the best, Sir Sean, believe me. I'll explain during the rest of the month. You're all right if you say so. <laughs> Talk about a snail's face. Greased lightning. I hope Sluggard is as true to his word as you seem to think he'll be, Captain Rodet. Oh, he will be, sir. I have no doubts at all. And once you've heard the explanation, I'm sure you'll agree with me. Well, now's a good time to start, if you feel like it. I'm all ears. All the Class A gastropods, such as Sluggard, come from here, the land of the dinosaurs, where there are vast fields of clover, which he is now heading for, and where they all congregate every five years. They come here from every far-flung corner of the world. But that's very puzzling. <laughs> Why right here? Why every five years? Huh? Slippy took the words <laughs> right out of my mouth. You mean, you still don't get it? It's their mating season. They're like salmon. They come back to their birthplace. Sluggard was very lucky. He was already well on his way here. You mean he knew where Dinosaur so Land was all along? Oh, he didn't tell uh, us. <laughs> what a stupid luck. <laughs> Stop interrupting. Why didn't he tell us he's not dumb? <laughs> he doesn't really know it. Not on any conscious level. It's all a matter of instinct. Instinct or not, I don't see how they can get everything done in an hour. Yeah, though. between Clover and... That's all very well. <laughs> but I hope he comes back when he promised. <laughs> it's only the snails gathering for the party. I guess I didn't manage to get the idea across to you about just how many of them there are. Amazing. Well, I suppose there's no use for my sword at this point, right? Yes, you can sheath your blade safely, sir. Their forts at the moment are far from war. Sir, the five young cavaliers are arriving aboard a transportation archaeopteryx to greet our guests. This is terrible. How can I be expected to greet dignitaries without my mount? <laughs> And what's an orchid, whatever it is? That is. <laughs> In the name of Lord Chuck and Prince Rackle, we bid you welcome to the Forgotten Lands, Sir Shai. I am most deeply honored. And now, if you're willing, we will escort you to the palace. This is not a safe area. It should not be crossed on foot. What? <laughs> I fear no foe, not with this sword. <laughs> uh, the danger is not from an attack of enemy forces. Oh, no. What danger do you mean, then? It's the Class A gastropods going to their reunion, sir. They just run over anything that gets in their way. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, of course, I understand. Well, Slippy, I think it's time we climbed aboard. Be sure to preserve your dignity, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. <laughs> Do us the honor of going first, Thank Sir you. Sean. 
We switch from fighting formation to honor guard formation, men. Things look so different from up here. What a great view! I bid you welcome, noble Sir Sean Braveheart. With you on our team, Princess Kindra is sure to be found, and all of Maya's wicked plans foiled. Thank you, Prince. I myself have some accounts to settle with Maya. We all have grievances with her, <laughs> Sir Sean. Now, won't you come in? The sooner we put our heads together on this, the better. <clears throat> Follow me, Sir Sean. This map shows our city and surroundings. The enemy is crowding our borders. Yes, the enemy is starting to gather their troops out there, and we have to have an army to confront them in a very short time. This will be your headquarters, Sashorn. Your division will include Captain Rodat and his 5th Airborne Battalion, two Tyrannosauruses for destroying fortifications, and a skilled platoon of sappers. Myelin will complete the briefing. You're going to have to instill a sense of duty and honor into the most rugged individualists in the Forgotten Lands. They're brave and faithful companions. They are not without their merits, I suppose. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Belonging to the Kindra Division, named after the princess you are going to rescue. I am Sir Sean Braveheart, and I am your new commander. I have never known dishonor or defeat. <laughs> Keep my record unblemished. I will make true fighting men out of each and every one of you. Will you stop that fight? I feel like we're in school again. I came to fight, not to listen to someone preach preaching sermons. Hmm? Uh, Cavalier, would you care to present yourself? Oh, well, I... Oh, 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 sir, my name is Mix. If what you wish to do is fight, I'll be happy to give you that satisfaction. Oh, oh. Slippy, Come on, get Mick. a sword for Mix. Yeah. We'll see if his arm is as rapid and courageous as his tongue. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not afraid of you or anyone. Uh, no one doubts your courage, Cavalier Mix, but your skill in swordplay will come under scrutiny now. Uh, Mix will be a bit subdued after this lesson. Oh, 
better than I thought you would be, only not nearly as good as you think you are. But I'll make a swordsman out of you yet. <laughs> Very good indeed, Cavalier Mex. You catch on quickly. It'll take less time than I thought to make a soldier out of you. If all of you are as quick and as brave as your companion, I'm honored to have you in my division. <laughs> You're going to be fine soldiers. Sean's a wonderful teacher. They'll learn all the military arts from him. Except for discipline, of course. <laughs> <laughs> coordinated offensive. So far, we have accomplished nothing. We take all our men and use them to block every path and every road that leads from the palace to the enchanted forest. Excellent! We'll put the plan into effect immediately! The triumph of evil is close at hand! The triumph of evil is close at hand! Are there any further developments? My nephew Zizitz has just informed me that there's been a massive buildup of troops along the roads. Then I must leave. We're wasting time. Well, it would be better if we didn't have to show our cards until the very last minute. Let's send Sir Sean and the boys out on a scouting mission. They should be ready. They've been training for weeks now. <laughs> them performing to perfection. As I suspected, these are our marching orders. Your troops should be ready to leave at a moment's notice. You can depend on it. It's a shame I can't have another week with those boys. Their spirit is admirable, but their skills could be better honed. Out. Why a little rabbit like that needs so much sleep, I'll never know. 
There you are. <laughs> I suppose you were so tired you fell asleep right here on the ground. Didn't even have the strength to make it back home. Uh, my kind has a very high metabolic rate. Well, take your rate and go find Sluggard with it. Now! Go! <laughs> Go find sluggard, he says, as if it were the easiest thing in the world. Wait a minute, I know who can help. Rodat! so much fun with your friend. Won't you introduce me to him? Uh, oh. Lucy, honey, uh, I'd like you to meet Slippy, oh, my oh, companion oh, in wow. arms. How do you do, Mr. Slippy? It's a great pleasure to meet you. Very great. I'm honored, sir. So now, when Slugger tells our children about all the great adventures he's had with you, I can boast of having met you. Well, thank you kindly, ma'am. <laughs> he says it would be very difficult to travel throughout the world without you. Thank you indeed for your considerate comprehension, ma'am. I'll never forget it. It's really very touching. I'm afraid I must go now. Sir Sean is expecting me. He's very dependent upon my skills. He must be very interesting, this Sir Sean. I'd really like to meet him if I could, darling. Huh? Well, he's to be found at military headquarters. Well, if you're going to headquarters now, couldn't I come with you? I'm afraid not. It's too dangerous, and a most important mission awaits us. So you're saying you're leaving me? <laughs> it won't be forever. I'll come back to you, honey. I'll count every second. Remember, I love you and only you. <sighs> oh, Rhoda! Hmm, I'd better signal him that everything's all right. Okay. <laughs> Have you said your goodbyes? Can we go? Everything's fine. We have a heavy date five years from now. All right. Uh, uh, <coughs> Ma'am, although your beauty puts them to shame, I would like to present these poses to you. How very thoughtful of you. Here. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Sweetheart, when you come back, bring me some berries. That's a promise. I'll miss you. Oh. <laughs> Forward. 
I hope you're not too upset over leaving your lady love. Duty's a stern mistress, and when she speaks, all must obey. Well put. Hera! Oh! We are about to march forth to face a dangerous enemy, but I know that every man here will pledge in battle nothing less than his life, his fortune, and his sacred honor! 